Hey guys, welcome to another cut up video. This time I've got a filter from Royal Purple that I want to look at. Like all my other filter videos that I've done so far, this guy fits the same vehicle as everything else. So if you check out some other content, just know that you can uh, look at these and know it's an apples to apples kind of comparison. Anyway, uh, Royal Purple is not a brand that I was really all that familiar with until I got this guy and started doing my research on it. Now, something that really stood out to me, and one of the first things I noticed was that all the other brands that I've looked at so far, they offer a few different tiers of price versus performance, right? You can get this low end thing that's not so hot, but whatever, it's cheap, and then you can get, you can pay more and get something that's actually, you know, decent quality. Now, Royal Purple, they market themselves as just a quality brand, and as such, they just offer one filter for any given vehicle that you might have. So, it's kind of nice actually because it saves you from having to decipher some complicated marketing strategy that may only be for the purpose of marketing. But anyway, that's kind of something that I really like about Royal Purple, actually. Now, to talk about the filter itself, the first thing to know is just the weight, okay? This is a little over 300 grams, which is right in line with all the competition that's, you know, at your higher end uh, when you start looking at quality stuff. The exception to that is the Distance Plus and the Pure Leader Boss that I've got right here. These guys are extra heavy at over 350. Now the reason for that is they've got extra thick tapping plates underneath and their cases are 20 thousandths thick versus a 15, which is more typical. Now Royal Purple's website does say that they've got an extra thick case. They didn't say how thick it is, but I wanna definitely pay attention to that when I cut this guy open. But anyway, moving to the underside, the gasket is made out of nitrile rubber, and you can see here that it takes a bunch of work to get it out, and that is because it's got a little lip on the ID here that engages this uh, undercut of this rolled over piece of uh, metal on the inner track. Now that really keeps it captured and really secure against falling out. Not that it's a problem with the competition, but if you look at this Wix XP, they've got a rectangular cross section and it's just kind of pinched so if you want you can just pull it straight out. So it's kind of, I think it's a little bit better design, not that it's a big problem, but I like that better than anything else I've seen so far. Anyway, the filter side of the gasket itself doesn't really look like it has that great of a um, surface finish on it. I don't think it really matters once you crank the thing down, it'll just squish into place, but didn't really impress me a whole lot. The other side is rounded. This is the side that uh, mounts to your engine. But anyway, that's the gasket. Now, it has five inlet holes for the oil to flow in, into, which is just an abnormally low number when you start looking at the competition. I think the lowest I've seen anywhere else is eight. This is a Wix XP that's got eight. A Pure Leader Boss has eight. Fram, I think, has 12, albeit smaller holes around the perimeter. So just five just kind of struck me a little bit. I got curious and started doing the math to figure out what the total open area is of all these holes combined. And for this Royal Purple, it's about 0.27 square inches, whereas the Wix and the Pure Later right here are in the 0.31 to 0.34 range. So if you're concerned that that's going to have a negative impact on you know your filter's high flow, high performance abilities, I wouldn't sweat it too much because I'll bet that's a whole lot more dependent on the quality of the filter inside, which we're going to get to when I get this guy cut open, but it's just something I, I noticed. Something else that kind of struck me, actually, is that if you look at this guy closely, you can see that these four holes appear to be the same size, but this one is just visibly larger than the rest. Why that is, I can't say. Whether it means anything or not, I, I doubt it, but just something else I noticed. Now, the anti-drain back valve right here is made of silicone, which is right in line with what everybody else is doing when you get to their quality offerings, but this is the only one that comes in purple, I'm pretty sure, so if you gotta have that, this is the only place you're gonna get it. Anyway, the last thing I want to talk about before cutting it open is just this center hole here. It's got four to four and a half threads on it, which is also typical of a good quality filter. I have seen one or two brands that have five on their top tier offering, but that's pretty unusual. I have seen as low as three on some really cheap stuff, but this is right in line with, with a quality filter. So anyway, that's everything meaningful about the exterior that I want to talk about. So I'm going to go ahead and get this guy cut open so we can take a look at the good stuff. Okay, so here we go, taking a look at the inside. Now, here it is, here's the filter itself, and the first thing I thought to myself when 
I cut this open was, wow, this looks an awful lot like a Wix XP clone. So here's the Wix, here is the royal purple on the left, and you can see externally they look pretty similar because they both are the same color for one thing. They both use pretty thick, fully synthetic, wire-backed media, which, you know, is really high quality stuff. And they're, you know, about the same size, and... But if you get into it a little bit more, you can see there's some differences start to emerge. So, first of all, let's talk about the pleats themselves, okay? I'm actually really impressed with this, though you might not notice it when you first look, okay? The... well, actually, let me back up. The pleats on the XP are taller. This is just a taller filter in general. And the pleats are thicker this way, front to back, okay? So you have a little more area per pleat, but the ID and the OD of the Royal Purple are both larger, okay? So that allows them to fit three more pleats in, and their spacing on each of their pleats is very good, okay? You can see that there's a nice, even, fairly wide gap in between each of these pleats, whereas, take a look at that Wix XP, right? You've got a bunch here that are all jammed together, and then you have this big, this one here that's kind of wide open in a few places, but in general, when you look at the ID, you can see all these pleats are really getting narrow on the inside, jammed together, right? And I imagine that can't be that great for your flow getting through, right? Because your oil has to flow through the wall here, and then it gets all jammed up where this wire backing is all smushed together, and it has to make its way towards the inside. And that's just not something I'm as impressed with versus this one, where it's nice and even, I can take this little flathead screwdriver and stick it down pretty easily between most all of these, okay? So I'm really impressed with how they made sure that was arranged very evenly. Here is a Fram just for comparison as well. It's pretty similar to the Wix in the same way. It's not as evenly spaced and they get really tighter on the inside. So just so you have some frame of reference, that's what some of the competition looks like. So that is quite nice. Uh, on the other hand, there are a few things I'm not as impressed with, okay? So this filter media is all just one continuous piece where it's all folded together. But where the ends meet, you have this. It looks like, if I spread it apart here, it looks like it was smooshed together by some kind of machine to seal it together. So I'll give Royal Purple the benefit of the doubt that dirty oil can't just flow straight through here. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll I'll grant them that. But what would have impressed me a lot more is to do what some of these other guys are doing, where you've got this nice, solid metal clamp that holds these guys shut, right? There's no question whether that's going to do its job. And the same thing, you'll see that on the frame as well. The um, Bosch you have here, this is a little bit of a different animal because it's more made for high flow. You, you don't have this really thick filter media or the wire backing or anything. But, and they don't have a clamp either, but theirs is kind of clamped together in such a way that I'm not really worried about anything being able to make its way through because you don't have that wire backing holding it apart. So anyway, that's that. The other kind of negative I saw with the Royal Purple was just the way they applied their glue, okay? The inside, it's this, it's this dark material in here. It looks pretty even, and it's not, it's not bad at all around the edge. Until you get to one side, it's kind of globbing out. Not a big deal, but it's something you would hope from a premium manufacturer would be, you know, a little... Something you would have paid a little more attention to. You can see it's really globby on one side on this upper end cap here, but the edges, it's kind of smeared all over the place. It just doesn't look super hot when you compare it to, like, this Fram even, okay? Now, this lip probably covers over a multitude of sins here, but it's not coming out all over the place, and even the inside looks good. And here's the Wix. There's has a little bit of stuff on the edge, but by comparison, theirs looks pretty good. So anyway, as long as we're talking about the upper end caps, let's take a look at this emergency bypass valve here, okay? I've seen this design a number of number of times from a number of different manufacturers where you have these sheet metal arms rolled over and holding a coil spring that uh, pushes against a seal right here. Now, I've seen seals made out of a number of different things. Glorified cardboard, for one, which you'll find on the Bosch here. I'm not real impressed by that. I'm sure it does its job, but it's just not the greatest. 
And I've seen hard plastic before in a couple places, but I ha what I haven't seen at least very many times is a nice soft rubber, which is actually what this is. It's a little bit hard to tell, but this is actually a soft, squishy rubber. It's nice and thick there, and one of the few other places I've seen it is on this K&N Performance Silver. Now, they have the world's most beautiful, I don't know, nickel-plated spring or chrome spring or something, so that's the blingiest I've ever seen by far, but they also have a nice piece of rubber in there. But what makes Royal Purple extra special is that they also have this second piece, which is a stamped, let's focus here, but a stamped sheet metal piece that is rigid and will keep this rubber piece flat. So that's just an extra little thing they put in there that's a sign of quality that even this K&N doesn't have. They just have their spring pushing right on the rubber piece. Now they do have an extra coil in there to kind of even it out and that's you know pretty good. <laughs> I, I'm impressed. I never actually noticed that before so that's actually a pretty good idea by them. So anyway that is the filter and the emergency bypass valve. Now there's three more things to talk about. The next two are not of a whole lot of consequence. Here is the inside of the tapping plate just so you can see it. Now, in the beginning, I did say that I had never seen this five-hole pattern before. I have since come across a Mobile One filter that does that. Now, it was, it was for a 24-horse, zero-turn lawnmower, but I'm curious to take a closer look at Mobile One because I haven't looked at their filters yet, so that might be something we see again when I, when I get to it. But there's the inside of the tapping plate, and here is the stamped sheet metal piece that goes between the inside of the case and pushes down on the actually the top of the um, filter to keep it compressed against the anti drain back valve here so not much to talk about it's stiff that's its job but the last thing like I said in the beginning was the case I cut this guy open and I did throw some calipers on there to see how thick that wall was and yes it was in fact 20 thousandths thick which is something I'm always glad to see in a nice quality filter so that's pretty much everything I have for the Royal Purple if you have any questions or if you want to see another brand maker model of filter that I have not covered yet let me know in the comments either way and I'll try to get to it so thank you guys for watching and see you again soon